Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video, we've got a couple feet we're gonna look at. First up, we're gonna do a follow-up from a video a couple weeks back. And second, we're gonna look at a, a precursor to foul in the foot. Let's get right into the follow-up. About three weeks ago, I posted a video uh, fixing a white line and a brown Swiss cross. And what we had was some sole separation, some heel bulb separation due to a white line lesion. And we had to remove that whole area um, remove all the loose horn, clean it out really well. We put a block on the other claw and we sent her on her way. Um, this is, this video is about a six weeks later from that initial trim, this follow-up. And if you want to watch this entire, uh, the initial trim in its entirety, uh, I'll put a link and end screen at the very end of this video. You can click on that, fixing a white line and a brown Swiss cross. You can watch the whole thing. Um, but now let's, uh, we got this foot wrapped up. We got a block on it. Let's go ahead now and look about six weeks after this trim and take a look and see how she's doing. So as you can see, that entire area has completely filled in with brand new hard horn, which is perfect. The lesion site is completely healed over. We have no openness to it whatsoever. All I'm doing here now is is cleaning up all the the little loose bits that from around um, that lesion site. I left that uh, outside wall intact for the most part on that initial trim, and so I'm going to clean up anything that's loose there remaining now from that. And um, as you'll see, there's it. We've got uh, complete healing around that lesion, which is good. A lot of times with these high white line lesions, they um, they do heal up really well. It's not. It's really not rocket science if you just do a good job of, of getting that loose hoof around, uh, away from the lesion site, then healing really, it, it's really a quick process. Normally I like to check these cows a little sooner than six weeks, but this particular farm I uh, only go to every six, eight weeks on average. So um, the, the follow-up was later, but clearly this cow was in good shape. Had she not, um, he would have given me a call, but she's cleaned up, uh, healed up rather, uh, perfectly in, in my opinion and uh, from here all we got to do now is just make sure that um, there's nothing loose or under run here and clean this up a little bit and uh, she'll be good as new common question I get asked is how long will it take for that hoof to regrow hoof grows at about a quarter inch per month so any hoof that I remove won't actually, those uh, holes won't fill back in, but new horn will form underneath it and replace that sole. So now, now that we've got this uh, lesion site healed up, we've got a new horn layer growing there. I'm gonna take my grinder and I'm gonna bring down that, um, those old layers and we'll end up with a uniform sole when I'm done here. And there you have it, another white line healed up. So let's move on to today's second foot. A while back I did a video on foul in the foot and what I forgot to mention in that video is another means of entry which is through um, an already existing lesion like this case here we have interdigital dermatitis going on. and. What that does is just like other uh, instances, it allows uh, a break point in that skin in between the toes and that's where that bacteria can enter that causes foot rot. So we need to get this skin healed up as quickly as possible to close up any entry points for the bacteria to potentially enter. The powder I'm applying here is called salicylic acid. What this does is kill the bacteria that cause digital dermatitis, as well as bring down the inflammation in the area to allow for healing and get a nice layer of new skin to form to uh, close that lesion up. The way uh, the bacteria that cause foul enter the foot is through any type of 
uh, cut or abrasion in between the toes. That allows that bacteria to enter that then colonizes and begins feeding on the tissue. So we got to get this healed up right away so that none of those bacteria have an opportunity to get inside the foot. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you want to watch that original video from the follow-up to, on today's episode, or if you want to watch the video on foul, those videos should be on your screen right now. So click them, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.